I remember the climb to 5,000 subscribers like it was last month. It was a slow and arduous journey to the top of that mountain, but man it felt great to get there. 10,000 seemed farther away still. I knew my climb wasn't over, but I had no idea how I was gonna- Oh wait, is that an elevator? Woo! Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Scrap Mechanics channel. Welcome back. All 10,000 of you. I can't believe it, 10,000 subscribers. I have a creation for you all, a special creation. It is an anamorphic creation. What does that mean, you ask? Well, that means that the creation I'm about to show you is distorted, except when you view it from a very specific perspective. So we're gonna hop in this seat over here and see exactly what this really is. And then, I'm gonna give you guys some updates and news regarding this channel while I play some footage in the background of how I built this anamorphic creation. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I made this for you all to see. This represents the 10,000 people, so far, that have liked my content enough to click the subscribe button. So thank you, all 10,000 of you, for being a part of this milestone. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on what's happening with the channel as far as scheduling and other plans as well. So as far as scheduling goes, you may have noticed that I'm uploading more often than my previous once a week schedule. I am now doing Scrap Mechanic at least twice a week with the usual Friday video, and now we have Multiplayer Mondays, where I've been releasing collaboration videos as well. I've also been doing TerraTech on Wednesdays, and I did release a few No Man's Sky videos, but I'm sad to say that they did not get nearly the viewership I was hoping for, and they took way more work than all of my other videos. So unfortunately, I don't think I can justify the amount of work that it takes to make those videos right now, so I'm gonna have to hold off on those, I think. Unless somehow they get picked up somewhere and end up going viral and getting a lot more demand, then I'd love to make more of them, but at this rate, they're just uh, distracting me from a lot of work I could be putting into Scrap Mechanic, which is really the main focus of this channel anyway. So with No Man's Sky no longer on the table, that does open up my schedule for some other stuff. So I was thinking about adding maybe an additional TerraTech video so it's also twice a week, or maybe doing like a random game day where I try something new and see how you all like it. I'm not really sure yet. So I have three days scheduled for videos right now, and I'd like to get a fourth day in, I'm just not really sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. So in other news, the rate at which I'm growing has been faster than I ever expected. I am honestly considering putting everything I have into this channel and trying to make it a full-time job for me. So I've already been treating it like one, honestly, and I've been spending pretty much all of my free time on content creation and editing for the channel. And the timing of this actually isn't that bad because in the next few months, um, I'm actually gonna be moving to a new location and leaving all of my work and previous income sources behind. So I'm hoping that the move won't interfere too much with the uploading, but it's gonna be a pretty big change for me and there's gonna be a lot of financial uncertainty. So I'm hoping that the channel can help me out with that transition. And you've all probably heard that YouTube ad revenue isn't really the biggest source of income to live off of, especially with all the ad blockers and stuff that people use. Um, so that's why I do want to remind you that if you have any ability or desire to support me in making this a full-time career, other than just watching and commenting on my content, which is always awesome, the best and most rewarding way by far is through my Patreon page. There, you can make monthly contributions towards my channel in exchange for exclusive bonuses like behind the scenes updates, thumbnail preview previews before videos are released, and access to live text and voice chats with me, and even your own personalized creation from me to you. It's basically a way to help me out while opening up a deeper connection with me as a creator. But that's really only if it's something that you think is worth it and isn't any trouble for you to do at all. But if it's something that you want to do but you can't afford it, please don't worry. The next best thing is to just be an active viewer on my channel and like and comment on the videos that you enjoy watching. So in other news, I do want to let you know that I do have some more film short projects in the works as well, and I'm really looking forward to how you guys respond to those, because I've been working on them in the background for quite some time now. Um, and lastly, I do want to get your thoughts 
on what you'd like to see happen with the future of this channel. I've already mentioned a few things, and but I want to I want to know what you guys think. What kind of changes would you like to see, if there are any, and what am I doing that you want more of? So as you've seen in my previous update videos, your feedback really is important, and I do take it all into consideration. So I do want to thank you all again for 10,000 subscribers. I, I still can't believe it came so fast. And I think 50,000 is the next major milestone. So let's get there, and I'll see you next time on the Scrap Mechanist channel.